Prince Charles's takeover should be a cause for serious alarm for Harry and Meghan. Prince Charles's gradual takeover of duties from the Queen should be a cause for serious alarm for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, according to a royal commentator. The public was provided with a glimpse into the future of the monarchy on Tuesday, May 10, when the Prince of Wales read the Queen's speech on behalf of his mother, who was unable to head to the Houses of Parliament herself due to mobility issues. As the heir to the throne, Charles is destined to take over from his mother at the end of her reign. And this passage of duties may be a cause of concern for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, according to Australian royal commentator Daniela Elser. The journalist highlighted how Meghan and Harry have been able to maintain a good relationship with the Queen following their decision to step down as senior royals and relocate to California in the spring of 2020. The Duke himself has stressed multiple times during his interviews over the past two years he is very much in touch with his grandmother and shares a profound bond with her. On the other hand, he told Oprah Winfrey in his joint interview with Meghan in early 2021 he will always love his father but there's a lot of hurt that's happened. The Duke added he would make it one of his priorities to heal the bond with Charles. Appearing on the Armchair Expert podcast and in the mental health series The Me You Can't See, Harry also appeared to criticize his upbringing. Moreover, in his latest interview with a U.S. broadcaster in April he did not answer Hoda Kotb when asked whether he was missing his dad and brother William. Ms. Elser claimed in an op-ed for news. Come. Oh the glimpse into the future provided yesterday and the approaching of King Charles III's reign should be a cause for serious alarm for Meghan and Harry, as a number of decisions regarding their own future, including whether their children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Lily Diana will get a royal title, be very, very limited. Ms. Elser added Prince Charles's possible decision to take a harder line against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex if they criticized him or the firm in the future would not just be a personal one. Rather, as a constitutional sovereign in the 21st century, Prince Charles must take measures to ensure the survival of the institution of monarchy. Ms. Elser also said that the palace under a new king could take an even harder line against the Sussexes. Prince Harry, Meghan, and the Prince of Wales met face to face at Windsor Castle in April, where the Sussexes had travelled for their first joint visit to the Queen since March 2020. Harry did not publicly speak about the encounter with his father but told Ms. Cott how pleasant it had been for him to be able to be reunited with Her Majesty after several months apart. Speaking from The Hague, where he was to attend the Invitus Games, he told NBC's Today, being with her, it was great. It was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on great form. She has always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and has got the right people around her. Meghan and Harry will be reunited with the Queen and the rest of the royal family in June, as they announced last week they will travel across the pond with their children to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee during the extended bank holiday weekend. A spokesperson for the Sussexes said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sus are excited and honored to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this June with their children. <laughs>